Hi everyone and welcome to this Fan Art Friday video. In this video I'm going to be working on a drawing of Rocket Raccoon and Baby Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy. And I can't wait to watch Volume 2. I, I recently worked on a drawing of Baby Groot and then another one of Star-Lord. And I, I thought if I was going to work on a drawing of Rocket, Rocket Raccoon then I definitely need to include Baby Groot as well because they make such an awesome team. So I really hope you enjoy watching this video. For the outlines of this drawing, I decided to mainly use my Copic Multiliner SP 0.03mm. I wanted to use a fine pen like this for the fine outlines around Rocket Raccoon because um, he's obviously just all fur, so adding thick outlines would really take away from the effects of having lots of stray hairs. I was going to rely mainly on a white Prismacolor pencil later on, adding lots of stray hairs, so having any thick outlines would really take away from that effect. Um, for Baby Groot's character, I used the same pen again but also used a Pigma Micron 05 to add some thicker outlines to some of the shaded areas um, around his jacket and uh, to the underside of his face. And after that I also added a comic panel in the background. I really love the effect it gives of making the characters kind of pop out from the page. When it was time for the colouring, I decided to start by colouring Rocket Raccoon uh, using Copic markers Cool Grey 1, 3, 5 and 7 to add the shading to his fur. Uh, starting with the fur around his nose, I used Cool Grey 1 and 3 for the base layers of shading and then used a Cool Grey 5 over the top of that. And just adding lots of quick fine strokes and blending between all of the markers, it just in a very natural way, um, not planning any of the lines and just going about it in a much more relaxed way uh, to try and create that fur effect. Uh, for the shading of his nose, I was using a base layer of Cool Grey 3, adding extra shading with Cool Grey 5 and 7, and then adding highlights to the nose with my white Prismacolor pencil and a Uniball Signo Broad white ink pen. And I basically just continued to add the layers of fur to his face, starting with the middle point being his nose and then kind of just working my way outwards. Uh, for the fur around his eyes and around the side of his face, I started with a base layer of Cool Grey 5, and then added darker fur over the top of that with a cool grey 7. And just blend it between the two to just kind of blend the layers and just kind of smooth the gradients between the two markers. I continued that process and then to blend between the layers of fur and to add lots of stray hairs I used a white Prismacolor pencil. For the colouring of his eyes, for the base layer I used a maroon, brown and sand marker and then over the top of that I added a darker layer with a dark bark and a champagne marker. I used a black marker for the pupils and then to add the highlights over the top of all of this I used my Uniball highlighter pen, adding dots of highlights in the eye and then adding some highlighting around the eye as well to just kind of really contrast the dark shading and make those eyes really stand out. I continued the same fur process on the top of Rocket's head, adding lots of shading with Cool Grey 5 and then adding some darker shading towards the inside of the ears with Cool Grey 7 and made sure to add lots of stray hairs with the white Prismacolor pencil. Also making sure to leave some lighter fur uh, on his eyebrows and around the side of his head. I used the Uniball highlighter pen and the white Prismacolor pencil to add the whiskers to his face and then for the shading of the, the fur on his chest I added some darker layers of shading with the cool grey 5 and 7 using a black Copic marker towards the bottom of the drawing to really add lots of dark shading towards that area. I also decided to add a tiny hint of colour to his fur, using a light umber Prismacolor pencil to add lots of fine strands and just changed it up a little bit from all of the grey tones. For the blue colouring on his clothing I used a night blue marker and then for the rest of the clothing I used a mixture of cool grey 5 and 7, adding some detailing and some scuff marks to the edges of the clothing with a white Prismacolor pencil. Moving on to the colouring of Baby Groot, I started with a base layer of colour with a milky white marker, adding some darker colouring in amongst all the cracks in the wood texture with a sand marker, then adding the next layers of shading with champagne and maroon, um, and then finally adding some really dark shading with a dark bark marker and some layers of cool grey 5 and 7. Um, to add some highlights in amongst those shaded areas, to add some detailing to his eyebrows and to his chin and to his lips, I used the white Prismacolor pencil um, just to add a bit of contrast and really add, show up some of the details on his face amongst all of the dark shading. And to add some of the green colouring on the top of his head, I used a pea green marker. For the dark shading inside his mouth, I used a black Copic marker, uh, then added some colouring to his tongue with the maroon and champagne markers, after that adding some highlights to his lips and tongue with the Uniball highlighter pen. Uh, 
For the colouring of his eyes, I used a mixture of brown and champagne markers, and then for the pupil, I used the black Copic marker. Um, over the top of that, to add some highlighting, I also used the Uniball highlighter pen, in the same way I did for Rocket Raccoon's eyes, uh, making sure the highlights really stand out in the same way, and making sure the eyes are the, the real prominent features of this drawing. I, I really loved working on their eyes in this drawing, and I tried to make them look really friendly. And for the final part of the colouring of this drawing, it was time to work on Baby Groot's jacket. It's a similar colour to Star-Lord's jacket, so I used a base layer of colour with cadmium red, and then added some shading over the top of that with a cardinal red. Also adding some extra layers of shading to kind of fade it into the background behind Rocket Raccoon, I used a couple of layers of cool grey 3 and 5. Lastly, I added lots of highlights to the jacket and the zip with the white Prismacolor pencil, and I also used the pencil to add some more stray hairs to Rocket's face to kind of make sure that the layers are separated between his fur and Baby Groot's jacket. And after that, this drawing was completed. Overall, it took about four hours to complete, and I had such a great time working on it. I've been looking forward to working on this one for a while. Uh, I love these two characters, and Guardians of the Galaxy is such a great film, and I can't wait for volume two. Please let me know what you think of this drawing in the comments below, and if you have any more suggestions for future fan art or fantasy art videos, then also let me know as well. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then make sure you're subscribed, and any likes or shares on this video are hugely appreciated. It really means a lot to me. If you want to follow my progress and keep up with everything I'm working on, then be sure to check out the links in the description box below to check out my Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. And once again, thank you so much for the support on this channel and thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed watching and I hope you're having an amazing day and I'll see you all soon.